Hey guys, Fox will be here with another live game commentary. Today we are playing top lane and we're playing Renekton top lane. So Renekton top lane, someone I used to be very good at recently. I've actually been quite bad at him, honestly. But I still, you know, when you learn how to play a certain champion, the knowledge stays the same. It's just, you know, whatever. Uh, everything else just falls apart. But my, my Renekton knowledge, at least... At least I know how to play him, so hopefully I can draw off of that and, you know, be able to actually do well in this top lane. Because against Riven, uh, I actually think I'm pretty heavily favoured in this matchup. Like, people uh, people consider Renekton to be one of Riven's hardest counters. Now, I'm not a good laner, so I don't like being put in the, uh, you know, be being put in the situation where... I'm expected to win because I don't want to. I don't want that pressure. I'd honestly rather go into a hard counter matchup because then at least I know I can just farm up, and if I don't achieve much, I'm okay. Uh, but there you have it. But yeah, we're playing some uh, some Renekton today, boys. So hopefully we can teach you guys how to play some Renekton today. Uh, if we win this game as well, we'll be in our promos to Platinum Three. I realize on this channel I've kind of lost my way a little bit as far as uh, progression of our rank goes. I don't think you guys really even know what rank I am. Well, you do, because I just told you. But before that, you wouldn't have known. And I don't think you really care either. You just watch me to play some games. And that's cool. That's fair enough in itself. But, I, you know, I kind of want a bit of progression in it as well. You know, like, I, I at least want to have some semblance of that. So, yeah. Almost plat three. Well, we'll be in our plat three promos if we win this game. So, Runes of Mastery is on your old Renekton jump. Uh, not jump. I'm not so used to saying that. Uh, Renekton top lane. Runes of Mastery is you want to go for... AD, AD armor, so AD reds, armor yellows, whatever blues, and uh, I would say AD quints, honestly, personally. Now, I need to be a little bit careful. She doesn't have ignite, which is good for me, but I'm pretty sure her all-in, like the 1v1 at level 1 probably favors her. She's going to, I'm going to hit level 2 here, so I should be able to kill her here. Excellent. The one v one at level one probably favours her, so I've got to be, I've got to respect that. But still, I went, I walked up to her, walked up to her there, and went in when I knew I was one minion off of level two, one minute for le level two, and as the minion was about to die, because then she went on on me thinking, oh, this is a one v one, I can kill him. But then I leveled up halfway through, got my W, shout her basically, and there's first blood, good shit. So we started off with a longsword, by the way. Something you guys probably noticed here might be wondering why I did that. I will start off with a longsword today, guys, because I'm not. I'm honestly not 100 percent sure. Like, what the best time I'm on next one would be? Doran's blade is fine. Doran's shield is fine. Um, longsword is fine, obviously as well. It gives you more sustain in the early lane phase as well, which is really nice. Masteries, by the way, 18 to 0 further for battle. AD reds, AD quins, army lords, whatever blues. I probably was like, you know, a bit too focused to mention my reason masteries before, but. I don't think it really matters what I sometimes you go as long as it's something like that, really. Um, the longsword just means that I can rush my black cleaver faster. Lethality is great, obviously, nowadays uh, on the current patch, but I don't... You know, I still think that you should get your core build on Renekton, which is black cleaver. I would argue black cleaver, at least. You know, I'm sure there's some like room for personal preference in there obviously but i think you know if i rush a black cleaver i can't go too wrong you moves would be a great touch as well so i i might get i might mm, i don't know whether i should rush the you moves but I'm, i might get it this game honestly but some people rush tm out as well uh, yeah to rush the team out as well because that is pretty good on on renekton but i think you know i, I feel like because i'm i might go edge of night or you moves this game because i'm going to be spending a lot of gold on that I'm thinking that it's less likely that I'll want to go for Tiamat as well. Because then that just means that I'm going to be spending a lot of gold into offensive items. Is the jungler here? I just got pinged. So that makes me that makes me very nervous. I think, I think the jungler is around here. Yeah, he is. Okay. But she's also got refillable potions, which means that... Inevitably, these trades should work out in my favor. Even if we both take a similar amount of damage in the trade, I should come out on top. Because I've got more sustain than she does. Nice. 
So just gonna dash in, do all my abilities on her, and then jump away. I know Kazix is around top. I don't, I don't actually think Kazix is is waiting to bait me for a, for a gank, but I know he's like around ish. So I, I don't really want to sit here and do anything too sexy on this ribbon because chance of Kazix coming in and fucking me up is kind of high. Oh shit, she got me. She got me. She baited out my W. So the cool thing about Renekton, uh, his. Unique mechanic that no other champion is is Kazix here, or is this guy just crazy? <sighs> that was so close, holy shit. That she actually outplayed me pretty hard there. What I should have done there if I wanted to do that was I should have flash flash E'd rather than E flashing. But still that's good. Um so the cool thing about Renekton, the mechanic that you've gotta play around really, the only thing you've got to worry too much about is his fury bar, this little white bar under my health bar here. Whenever this reaches 50%, like now, you'll see it goes red. And that means all my abilities become empowered, depending on which ability I use, obviously, to empower. And then, obviously, I can reach 100 on that frosty, uh, that fury bar as well. And then I can then, like, empower two abilities. Because I'll, whenever you empower an ability, you lose 50 frosty. It takes 50 frosty to empower, and you lose 50 when you use an empowered ability. So if you get to heart, if you get to 50 frosty, which is normally the way you want to play around trades, you get to 50. F I'm gonna rush the uh, cleaver here though, because I don't want to risk like. I know if I get cleaver, I can probably 2v. Whoops, I can probably like 2v1, uh, Kazix and Riven if they come up and get me. So you want to play? I I'm explaining this really poorly, but basically at 50 frost, at, when you charge this little bar up, this white bar under your health bar here by using auto attacks. You get five per auto attack, I'm pretty sure it's something like that at least. And using your abilities when they're not empowered as well charges it. Whenever you empower your abilities, whenever you charge Frosty Fury, so you empower your abilities, and then you want to use that those empowered abilities to do more damage or whatever it is that you want to do. So an empowered Q will deal more damage and give you more sustain, like heal you up for more. An empowered W will do more damage and have a longer stun. An empowered E will... Uh, it doesn't do anything on the first E, but on the second E, uh, it shreds armor. Now, you don't ever want to use your empowered E. I just use my empowered E here because I had to. But you don't ever want to use empowered E. You want to use empowered W more or less when you're, tr when you're fighting people. Empowered W gives you crazy damage. It also technically, because when you, when you use your W, you hit the target twice. Empowered W hits the target three times. So when you've got... Further for battle, which I have this game, you technically do a shit ton extra damage. I'm actually a bit surprised I died that fast, by the way. I did mention I might be able to 2v1, but I got caught there. Like, I got... You know, if I was in a better situation where maybe I had some frosty up, maybe I wasn't the one getting engaged upon, whatever, then maybe I could have done that 2v1, but whatever. I didn't have my flash up, so it's what... You know, not can't expect much. Um, so basically, you want to charge... When you're when you're playing with it, turn, you want to charge your frosty up, dash in... Use your Empower W, then Q, then dash out. That's the best ideal trade. When you're fighting someone in a 1v1, you want to Empower your W as well, because that does the most damage. Now, I don't think this girl's going to have her Cleaver yet. No, she doesn't. So that's fine. So what we do is we wait wait for the TP to come in. We use Empower W there. Shit. We use Empower W, and we shit on her with, with that. Nice. You're not the only one who can get gangs, bitch. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Now, when you're clearing minion waves, you want to use your empowered Q. And to be honest, when you're fighting people, you can use your empowered Q as well. It's not quite as good, but it's fine. And when you when you use your ulti as well, you basically just get like a crap ton of extra fury or ferocity. I keep saying fury or ferocity. Basically, they're just into. Whenever I say ferocity or fury, it means the same shit. <laughs> Alright, I don't know, I keep fucking that shit up, but whatever. Alright, so I've got to keep my eyes peeled a little bit on the minimap here, just because I don't know where the enemy team is. I'm not really afraid of Riven showing up here, because I don't think she... She's probably... No, she, she might get here soon, but she's not here just yet. But I didn't know where Zerath or Kha'Zix was. Wasn't too afraid of the 2v1, though. I've said that before, I'm not afraid of the 2v1, and then I died. So maybe I should be afraid of the 2v1. But either way, all good. I'm going to go back here. Uh, we've got our uh, Black Cleaver, and then I'll probably go Yumu's or something like that. Because they've got a really squishy team, so if I go Yumu's, I have high potential to just, like, one-shot people. I pop Yumu's, I get an Empowered W off, instant further stacks.
I'll come up real good. So that's all good. We're going to go back here and hopefully just soak up these minions without losing too many of them. I've got no TP, so not too... Ooh, that was close. That was really close. Not too much I need to worry about there. All right. So she doesn't have her cleaver, and I do, which means I have a pretty significant advantage in power here, you would hope at least. I don't know how aggressive or how greedy she's going to go here. Uh, like for CS and stuff. She'll probably get kind of greedy. Like that. That's pretty greedy, honestly. I think Kha'Zix is here. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I flashed that. I don't know why I flashed that. I tried to flash the ult, but she didn't even ulti. But there you go. Black Cleaver. She's done though, Honestly. She, she used her Q to last hit there. Which meant it was a really obvious and easy time for me to go in on that guy. Like, if she's used her Q already, I didn't see what health this guy was on. Yo, I see him, but I don't really care about him. Or should I? I'm not going to care, but I think I should. 40 health, that's close. Yo, was my Q up then? Fuck. Darn. That was really, really close. Mm, yeah, I guess. No! Oh, that's a question mark ping. He could have pressed any ability, like W or E. Like, W would have instantly cancelled it. Or just, you know, auto-attacked him. Oh, unfortunate. Whatever. Close. Just got his ult up. Probably would have helped. Still, whatever. That's not his fault that I died there. That's my fault. Riven didn't get an assist though, so it's okay. Like, I don't lose too much from that. But, yeah. I just didn't really respect the Kha'Zix damage. I know, you know, when you're isolated, Kha'Zix, fighting Kha'Zix in the 1v1. Not usually that smart, but... I was feeling it, you know, I had I had a lot of ferocity there. Hello, Shad. You feeling good, dog? Sleepy little man. I'm saving my TP now. Well, I, I can't use TP, but I'm going to save my TP. Because I want to start making plays around the map, ideally. Well, I would like to get this top tower first. And to be honest, I think... Whoops. Oh my goodness, feels bad, man. If I, if I just bully this rhythm really hard, I think that's probably quite good for my team, honestly. But I'm going to be maxing E second here. Always max Q first. What you max second, I think people don't really know. <laughs> like, Renekton players just max random stuff. It's not like a consensus between Renekton players as to what you max second. Most people do E, and I personally like E as well. Because E gives you more, uh, like, a lower cooldown on your gap closer. And if you're playing Renekton and your gap closer, for whatever reason, isn't answering pretty fucked. Yo, Shad, you're going to cause some problems if you're walking around up here. So I need to put you downstairs in a sec. But I've got two levels on this Riven now, so she shouldn't be able to fight me, but it is Riven. You never really know with Riven, honestly. It's one of the reasons I'm not a fan of playing against her, is because she's just someone you can never really be certain as to how strong they are. They always they always seem to have a certain level of strength that surprises you. Uh, I have two levels on her. I've got 20 AD on her as well. 20 AD is not the highest, but it's, you know, it's something, I guess. So I should be able to fight him, but... You know, you never know. I can't really get pressure this tower here because... Well, I might be able to now because it's really, really low. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there was like zero way I was going to kill her there, but whatever. I think she flashed because I went in on her again when she had no cooldowns. She's got no cooldowns, she can't like Q away and stuff. My team is pretty angry though. They're raging pretty hard. Shadwell, my friend. Hello, Shadwell, my old friend. Okay, I'm gonna bring you downstairs. Before you do something, I don't want you to do in my room. Come on, Shaggy. Okay. 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 I'm alive. I should have recalled though, shouldn't I? Fuck it, we'll just walk up top here. Whew, okay, sorry about that. It's nice having Chad chilling in my room and stuff, and he's just like, you know, he's just asleep, so it's really nice having him chill in my room. Nice hair, Foxy. But then he wakes up, and he's a really old dog, right? He's like 17, 16, 17. So he wakes up, and he just shits on the floor, basically. 
Anyway, this bitch has got no flash. Should be able to kill her here. There we go. Whew, to me <laughs> two seconds from like getting back from being AFK to just shitting all over this river and beautiful stuff. Whew, I'm out of breath though. I like, r r I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I just ran downstairs, ran up the stairs. I'm out of shape. Need to go to the gym with fire. We went once, so I'm still aching from it. That was two days ago. Yikes. Anyway, I don't know where Kazix is here, so. Gonna respect the fact that someone might come top to hold this lane, and without my flash or ultimate and no vision, might not be a good idea to sit there and go for a fight. So. <sighs> I actually might want to go Merc this game, actually. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Ninja Tabby are fucking OP. Let's just go Ninja Tabby. Anyway, so now we're going for the Yumus. Edge of Knight would probably be a good idea as well, but... We'll go Yumus, because... Yumus is like a go button. You know, like you press the go button, and you just turn it on, and you just... <laughs> you know what I mean? You just, you just go, right? So, it really helps if you're just looking to all-in people and stuff, and... Especially if you're a champion who needs to get close to people to fight them. Having the Yumus can be really nice so that you can keep up. Anyway, I'm just going to keep pressuring this top side. If I draw a lot of attention to myself here, it reduces the amount of attention my teammates will have on them. And from that extent, it should be pretty good. This could be bad though. I know Riven's here. I don't want to join that fight though. If Lucian's also bot and we've also got someone dead. If Braum's already instantly died and we're already outnumbered because Lucian's not there, then there's no point in me joining that fight. Like, this is pointless. Won't be able to achieve too much. Oh, Riven's actually recalling. That's cool. That means I can get another bit of shoving going here. Okay, that was a really bad dash. When my Q's up, I'm going to flash Q. Okay, what the shit are you doing, Kazix, bruv? <laughs> what are you doing, Kazix, mate? I didn't need to flash on you. I just fucked you up. If Jin stays close here, I'm gonna kill him though, that's for sure. If Jin does not run away here, he's dead. Okay, Jin, do you want to die? I've got full stacks of Frosty. He's gonna die. Leonie's gonna be getting in here though, but I'm gonna kill him. No, he's, okay, he's going away, he's going away, that's fine. Right, let's push this tower down. Beautiful stuff. Good TP, Foxy. Triple kill, two towers. Good job, Foxy. Alright. Finish the Yumus. And then... We can go for Titanic Hydra. Titanic Hydra is a pretty good uh, item on Renekton. I don't know, do we need to go tanky here? I don't really feel like I need to go tanky this game. Um, could go like somewhat tanky, I guess. You know what, I'm ahead, so I'm just gonna go for the ballsy build here, which is the Titanic Hydra. Or do we wanna go Edge of Night? I don't know, man. Edge of Night will be a good choice as well, I guess, but we'll go Titanic Hydra. You can't go wrong really with Titanic Hydra, so. We'll do that, and then we'll probably just go tanky. Um, we'll probably get like a health tank item, and then GA afterwards. So we'll go like, probably dead man's into GA. Do not take this tower. Press the wrong button here. Yo, can you not? Holy shit. I don't think they can kill me here, depends. Uh, Kha'Zix is mid, I don't think they can kill me here then. I've got my ult up. If I hadn't tanked that river, not actually, I think I could have been. I would have been fine here. That's a massive bait, though. <laughs> okay. I actually didn't see that he had his four shot up. Normally, you see. Hey, where's that TP? Oh, it's the TP out. Normally, you see a four shot because of the animation from twirling. But he didn't do that animation because he was recalling. That's actually a pretty smart bait. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm out. I'm really low. Yeah, I should have recalled earlier, honestly. Well, see, I, oh, wow. I feel like I just outplayed. Uh, sorry, I misplayed the... When Riven, like, these guys under the tower here. I misplayed that. If I played a bit more passively there, a bit more smart, maybe it would have been okay. Are these guys going to go for Dragon or are they going to push mid? I'll probably do one of the two. I don't know which one, though. Oh, what are they doing then? Are they on Baron? I don't think they can do Baron, can they? No, they can't. That was that just recalled. Okay. So I'm gonna sit here and see if someone face checks me. I'm pretty safe here because I've. Just use his ult, that's fine. I'm pretty safe here because I, you know, I've got the blast cone to escape. I can jump over the wall. I've got my flash, my humans, whatever. So I'm pretty safe. Um, I think they thought we were on Baron there. But we definitely were not on Baron. I want to position here so that if someone comes for... Comes to the Echo, I can kill him. Like that. I might be able to flash on this guy, but we should go for Baron afterwards here. I'm gonna save my ward. I think he's dead here anyway, right? I don't think I need to flash this. Beautiful. Can we Baron that, or are we gonna push top? Uh, if we get mid, we might actually be able to... I mean, I can dive, right? I think I'm strong enough to set up a dive here. Ah, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that's cool. I missed the minions, but that's cool. He's gonna flash anyway. Could it? Maybe if I use Yumu's there, I might have been able to do that. But that's cool. That's cool. Very really cool. I'm not really happy with what we got out of that. I don't feel like we got a lot from that, but it's still okay, I guess. I'm gonna split push bot now though, because I've got my TP. If I split push bot with at this stage of the game, it's pretty good because. Uh, it means that people are gonna, they're going to have to send people to stop me, obviously. They would most likely have to send, like, more than one person. I don't think I can fill out Dive Riven. I might be able to. I might try that at least. I don't know. She's she's actually pretty tanky, you know, Cleaver and Ninja Tabby. She's got as much tank items as I have, more or less. So, you know, I, they're going to have to send... No. You group. Like, they don't want me to group. He should group. I'll split. So, the thing is as well, they'll send people down to get me. And then by doing that... Is Zareth going to rotate over here? Yes, he is. And he's dead. So, by sending people over to come stop me, or if we force fights around here, it's just going gonna to be really good for us. Because they can't fight me. It's too barren. Uh, we could try mid, but I think Baron's... <sighs> Alright, fuck it, we'll get mid then. Fuck it, we'll get mid, whatever. I, I mean, just, grouping with your team is always a superior strategy at this... Like, in solo queue, honestly. In this game. Even if you think Baron's the better call, you group with your team and it'll make stuff happen anyway. And to be, to be honest, like, Baron may not be the right call. Like, we do get an inhibitor here, it's not like this is a terrible call. I just... I, f I feel like if we get Baron, that's... Hello? I can't move. <laughs> I feel like if we get Baron, the inhibitor, the inhibitor is in, is an inevitability, like in the future, you know. So it's whatever, really. But we get the inhib, so we can't complain. I've got my uh, Titanic Hydra here, so we'll get that. And I'm gonna instruct my team a little bit here to. I group up a little bit around the mid area. You can group top. Let the super minions do their thing. So if my team groups up top lane, then by me pressuring bot lane, if the enemy team sends people down bot for me, I can TP. Like you know, my team just does Baron. If they fight top, I can TP to it. It's a it's just a really awkward situation for the enemy team to be in, honestly. I wish I had my dash up here. 
<laughs> she had a feeling. Uh, my dash is up, but I don't think I'm gonna get it here. Yo, 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 Brom. Go top with team. Like, they don't need to be here at all. It's bad for them to be here. That's my Skype going off. My apologies. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to go and do that. And then, let us quickly push this down. They got the Kha'Zix there, so we should be able to get the, the Baron. And let's end this game, because that is a Skype call that I need to answer. I do not know why I'm using you moves. This doesn't give you attack speed anymore. We'll get Baron. I'll push this down. And hopefully that should be it. Let's go. Right, I'm going to keep pushing here because my team is fighting. Well, they're kind of fighting there. Kha'Zix is alive now, but I think I can actually dive him. Alright, blue smite. That's fine. Maybe I could have killed Jin there, but I'll just get the inhib. Almost there. Inhib should be free. Now I've actually got Ferocity. Even though my ultimate is down, I'm actually stronger against this Kha'Zix. So it's easier for me to kill him here. <laughs> there goes Jin. Almost getting the Kha'Zix there as well. Get the Nexus Towers. Was I zoomed in this whole game? <laughs> Hello? Was I generally playing zoomed in this whole game? I don't think I was. Okay, the, the game feels really zoomed out right now, so I think I probably... Was I actually playing really... Nah, surely not. I refuse to believe I'm that stupid. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, boys and girls. Let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments. This is now our promos for... Um, I believe we're in our promos now. Let me just double check that. That's a box. Good shit. And... Oh, we're in our promos. Oh, shit. We're in our promos. Oh, okay. We're already in our Why is it saying I'm on 87 LP on my profile? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. We're in our promos. We lost our first one, but now we're one win and, and one loss. Look at that damage dealt. Disgusting. All right. Thanks for watching the video, boys and girls. Hope you have a good one. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. And I will see you. Don Mon Pro Shan.